Hey, what's going on everybody? Ahoy here! Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today guys, we'll be continuing our Let's Play on a Pokemon Violet. So in a previous episode, we had an action-packed episode where we finally, finally got to adventure out from the Pokemon School and now we are starting a new journey and now we are exploring the overworld of this game. So pretty much essentially now we could do the game Breath of the Wild style, so we could explore anything we want, we could do different paths. And um, what we're going to be doing today is hopefully evolving some Pokemon and going to the first gym battle, which is a bug type gym, which I think it's that one right there in the distance. So hopefully that will go well if we don't die. And before we continue on, I want to do something, so... Last episode, I remember that I was trying to figure out how to use the boxes like in previous Pokemon games. But the thing I learned between episodes is that the boxes, you could actually edit them at any time. You could access them at any time, which is a very cool feature because I was so confused because I'm like, oh, maybe it's like the original Pokemon games where you have to go to the Pokemon Center and access the boxes. But now you could access them by pressing X. And then you have the boxes. So what I want to do is remove one certain person from our team. Because I want to collect more Pokemon. So I'm going to move a little chunk to one of the boxes. So let's move them there. And then we have our Pokemon team ready to go. Obviously, like I said previously, we're going to be switching around our Pokemon all the time. Depending on the gym. For example, this gym is bug type gym. So... Fletchling is going to be super useful and Fue Coco are going to be super useful for that. So we're going to just move on along to see what's useful and what's not useful. What type of advantage. And so far, I think this area we have explored pretty well. We've been going around. There's nothing really I want to catch at the moment. Let me just grab that. One thing that I really want to do is start evolving my Pokemon to the second stage because I feel like I'm under leveled but hopefully that's not the case so let me just throw out play coco that wasn't the right thing to do and that's an eagly tough <laughs> he's so cute man but let me run nice okay so let me do the other feature of the auto battles i think that'll probably be well wow it's so laggy man hey please defeat eagly tough nice Let's do that guy. Let's just take out everyone, honestly, so then they could level up. And the cool thing about this game, there's team XP, so easily the other people level up, or, or other Pokemon level up. Like that, for example, our Starly leveled up. And another thing I wanted to mention, I apologize if the video, the audio, my microphone audio sounds kind of weird in this episode. It's because I switched my, uh microphone in a different position so hopefully it sounds a little bit better so i'm testing out still to see what's good and what's not so hopefully this actually does sound good because i right now have it right in front of my mouth well not right in front of my mouth like at a certain distance so hopefully that is good oh our pichu evolves another cool thing that i learned between episodes too is that certain pokemon don't evolve depending on the level for example like uh pichu and I think there's someone else that I wanted to catch. I think it's Lucario or Riolu. Doesn't evolve until you do friendship. You have a specific bond with the Pokemon, which honestly makes things very interesting because now oh, I thought that was a Pokemon, but it's like a wheelbarrow. That's hilarious. So like I was saying, Pichu doesn't evolve until the friendship. You got to get the friendship high in order it to evolve into Pikachu, which is very interesting because I thought you had to get it like to a certain level. But other than that, I'm pretty sure the regular birds that we have on our team level up just at a certain level, which is good because I really want them to evolve. I think they evolve around level 16, I think. Okay, so far we're getting a lot of XP. Fletching, uh, Fletchling is gonna evolve soon. I'm just gonna keep on battling a few more Pokemon and then we'll head to the gym. So hopefully we could 
finish that up. Ooh, let me go after this one. Maybe this will give us more XP. Nice. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this until uh, Fletchling is evolved. So then we could get him evolved to a good level. And maybe he learns even a new move, which is pretty cool. Would be pretty cool, I should say. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, let us go. Ooh, let's battle this one. Oh god. Come on. Actually, before I gotta keep in mind that our Koi Coco's level is pretty low. Um, his HP is pretty low, so I wanna do that. I wanna heal my Pokemon up before we go to the gym battle. So let me do that. Uh, Fletchling evolved, so that should be fun. Let me heal up my Pokemon, and then we can move on into the town, so then we could have our first gym battle. Okay, we got four on our team. Pretty cool team, not gonna lie. I gotta get more Pokemon, honestly, because then I could start evolving them and then we could have a strong team. I really want to have a strong team, for sure. Alright, let's go on. Ooh, a Heracross. I would want to catch a Heracross, too. Welcome, thank you. What is that, Pokemon? That's so small. What is that? I've never seen that before. That's so cool. Yeah, that's the gym battle right there. Or the gym, I should say. Um. Alright, we made it. I swear, just watch it switch. Well, I gotta keep in mind, too, that there's, um, terrestrialized. I can't pronounce that word. In this game, so it switches the type. So it's not always gonna be a bug type. Specifically, so I got to keep that in mind. That is going to be an issue if it's going to be like a type that is super weak. All right, let's go inside and see what awaits us in the gym. Hopefully nothing difficult. Oh, there's Nimona. Yeah, our first gym one. Uh, gym battle. Yes, we are. Interesting. What is the test? Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Maybe they'll come in use. Yep, we are going to do it. <laughs> she just ran off. I wonder if she challenged the gym yet. Okay, thank you. Yep. Alright, perfect. The olive roll. Interesting. Alright, so I guess we're not going to battle off the bat. We have to take part of uh, in the olive roll, whatever that means. Okay, so he said that we have to go north of the town, which is over here, I'm expecting. Where do we exactly have to go? So how do I bring up the map? Uh, nope, wrong thing. Yeah, there we go. Map. Oh, uh, we have to go over here. Okay, perfect. I'm not gonna use Meridodon so much because I want to explore the environment. If that makes sense. I really want to like take in the world building of this game because if I just use that mechanic, it's gonna go to the point where we're just gonna go by super fast, and I don't want to do that. I want to explore the game and take my time with it. Okay, perfect. Uh, we'll just uh, heal them up again just in case. I don't think they took any damage, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Yes, we already know, okay? We learned everything. We pretty much learned everything. I was watching... What was it? When I was editing... Uh, was it the previous episode or was it two episodes ago? I'm not sure, but I remember I, I was getting stuck. Oh, it's over here. We took a little bit of a detour. 
Um, we got stuck in that area. And then there was a Pokemon that I really wanted to catch in that area and I didn't get to catch it. It was literally right in front of me too, which was the funny part. Okay, try the olive roll right now. Okay. What is it? Oh. Sure, let's give it a go. Hopefully we do well. Okay. I wonder what it is. Jeez. Um. Gym test. Take on the olive roll challenge. Do I just push it? Okay, pretty easy, right? Where do we have to go? That's my... I'm so confused where I have to go. That's my question. I went pretty far, not gonna lie. Are we just supposed to... I don't even know what I'm doing, to be generally honest. I think I just have to go... Oh, wow. It's so laggy, man. You can tell. You can see it on the screen that it's so laggy. I'm surprised they still haven't fixed this game. There we go. We put it in the basket. I think that's what it's supposed to represent. Pass. Okay, that was pretty easy. Not gonna lie. Pretty easy. Okay, so now what? Hello? I think uh, the game just crashed. <laughs> oh no, it was loading up. Nice. Okay, perfect. So now... We can go back to the gym and then actually challenge the gym leader now. Which is perfect, because that's what we want to do in the first place. Look at this town. It's so small, but it's so cool, man. The environment. That's a new spider Pokemon. Alright, we made it back to the gym. Talk to uh, the representative. Yep, we did it easy. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, for sure. Pokemon didn't get injured, so we should be fine. Where's the battle court? Where is it? Oh, it's probably loading it. Is it going to be the same area that we did the olive roll, probably? I'm assuming it is. Oh, no. It's somewhere dip. Oh, it was in that area, that, that tree that we passed by. Oh, I'm, is she the gym leader? Interesting. Who are you? Oh, so she is the gym leader. Okay, so we have to battle her. Katie, okay. Oh, she's a chef. That's a very interesting dynamic. A chef with bug type peep? With bug type Pokemon? Huh. Oh, God. I feel like she has like a trick up her sleeve or something. All right, we're gonna go battle. Let's see what you got. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh, that's the Pokemon that we saw earlier. I'm assuming it's gonna be a bug type. 
Okay, so I'm assuming it's a bug type Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna terrestrialize yet. I'm gonna use just What the heck? Okay, you think you're cool, don't you? Okay, that was super effective, which is good. I'm not too worried either because I know Fletchling is also a fire type. So it should not be too much of an issue, but we never know. Alright, that should take him out. Perfect. Bye-bye. How many Pokemon does she have? Let's go. Pichu's gonna evolve. Ooh, nice. Wait, Coco evolved. Incinerate. Ooh. Sure, what? Okay. What does it... Does it do damage? Power? Uh, let's do Leer. Let's remove that one, and then we'll use that. And that's another fire type move that we could use, which will come in use. Uh, let's keep the current Pokemon. I think we should be fine for the moment. Oh, it's that spider Pokemon. Uh, let's use Incinerate. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah, <laughs> not so effective, aren't you? So let me use another one, and you should be gone. Bye-bye. How many Pokemon does she have left? I'm assuming three, maybe? Ooh, we're leveling up. Uh, should we switch or should we keep? I, I'm gonna keep Wakeogo. Yeah, we took you out less than a second. Teddy Ursa? Wait, 30... Oh, she has three Pokemon. You can see on the... On the right. Top right. We took out two and there's one left, but... Is Teddy Ursa a bug type? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but she's gonna terrestrialize. So I'm gonna use Ember and terrestrialize too. Oh, no. Yeah, she she's doing the same move as me. She's gonna switch the type of Teddy Ursa. But what, to what type? Oh, she switched it to a bug type. She messed up. Because that's what I'm gonna be doing. <gasps> she messed up. She messed up. Because I did a fire type move and I terrestrialized too. Which meaning, I'm gonna do a hundred times damage. And that music in the background sounds amazing. They did a fantastic job on the music in this game, hands down. Unless that kills me. No, that's not gonna... <gasps> no way, please don't kill me. No. No. Oh! <gasps> what? There's no way I actually lose this. There's no way. I was literally winning. All right, let's use Fletchling. Let's see if Fletchling can do something. Let's do a Fire Ember. Ooh, that did nothing. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, but it burned. So it's going to do extra damage. Okay. Oh no, please don't take out Fletchling. Because Fletchling is literally our... Oh boy. Here we go again. Critical hit, man. Everything in our favor is gone. Oh, the burn is doing a lot of damage. Okay. Heck. So it's a bug type. But it... I don't know what to do, to be generally honest. Let's do another Ember. I think that's the only way to go. Yeah. Jeez. And then that's going to take out Fletchling. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The burn is doing a lot of damage. So it didn't attack. Actually. Let's do this. I think I'm going to use. A revive. So then. Way Coco, because Way Coco for sure is going to be our number one go to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, as long as Way Coco is still alive, I think we still stand the chance for sure. 
And especially now that Titty Ursa is burned, it works so well. Uh, let's do this. So let me use another Ember. Do as much damage as I can to Teddy Ursa as Fletchling. And then once Fletchling dies, then just switch to... What's it called? To Fue Coco. Yeah, the burn is doing massive damage, which is great. So what I'm going to do, because I know Fletchling is going to die in the next... Turn? Might as well... Uh, how much does this heal? Let's use a super potion on Fue Coco so he's healed up to the max. And he doesn't have to do anything else. And then Teddy Erso is going to finish off Fletchling 100% right now. Yeah, that's fine. Because we have a backup plan. It works. It works. I'm telling you, this is going to work. She thinks that she's going to beat me? No. And plus the burn damage is still happening to Teddy Ursa. So we're going to swap in Wait, Coco, he's going to have another chance. Let's go. But the only thing is that we can't terrestrialize because we haven't healed. So we're going to use Incinerate. Okay, he's going to do that. Yeah, do that. I dare you. Oh, oh my god, that's doing a lot of damage. Not that effective. Literally did. And you're gone. It doesn't matter anymore. We win. Bye-bye, Teddy Ursa. Bye-bye. See ya. Don't want to be ya. So, what did we learn from that battle? We gotta level up our Pokemon for sure. Because Fletchling, as, as much as I wanted to say he was good, he overall wasn't. He wasn't doing enough damage. He did do the burn though, which was good. But I want to level up my Pokemon more and get them to evolve. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> I thought we almost lost that, not gonna lie, to be generally honest. Nice! One thing I always liked about Pokemon games are the gym battles. And the gym badges, so I want to see the gym badge. Is that the gym badge at the bottom right? I think it is, it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool design. Interesting. Okay. We got a TM pounce. Oh, interesting. All right. Thank you. All right. Perfect. So we won our first gym battle. Let's go. For a second there, I thought we were going to lose, but it was fine. We did it. We managed to win. Let's go. Oh, is our phone ringing? I passed. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we weren't worried at all. Hey, cool. Very cool. So we completed our first gym battle. That is honestly so amazing. Hands down. Oh, so we battled up there. That's actually pretty cool. Now it's daytime again. It's no longer raining. First thing I want to do is go heal up my Pokemon before anything else happens. Here, cross. I'm going to catch one. Of you eventually. There's Joy. Can you heal up my Pokemon, please? Okay. They did fantastic in battle. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so now we could terrestrialize again. Okay, perfect. One thing I wanted to do before the end of the episode is where uh, do we have to go? Oh, is that the next gym battle I have to go to? G 
He's a psychic. I wonder what psychic type is against. What is more powerful? But what I want to do is fly over... Over here. Because... There was a Pokemon that I missed in that area that I really want to have on our team and I think will be a super, super cool addition. So I won't spoil what Pokemon it is, but it was around here somewhere. It was around here somewhere. All I'm going to say, it was a water type. Uh, no, Fue Coco, come back. I want to use, yeah, because he could jump up there. Okay, so it should be over here. So now <laughs> the place that we got stuck. Now we know though, how to get unstuck. Okay, so let's jump on by. Over here. Do we see it? I don't see it on the map yet. I do see it. I see it in the long distance, but I don't think I could reach it. If I throw the Pokeball again. That's the Pokemon I want to get. I wonder, is there a way I could... What is that? <laughs> Fue Coco. I'm curious. Now that I have explored the area, can I still... No, I can't still. Okay, so... I don't think I'm able to catch the Pokemon I want to catch. Until I actually do that. Okay, so I guess later in the story... We will catch the Pokemon that I want to catch. So what I'm going to do is head back to where we were. Uh, we were... Where were we? Uh, we were... Ooh, I forget where we were. We were over here. So let us fly to the Pokemon Center that's in this town. And then we'll end off the episode uh, there. We're in a good spot. And then on the next episode, we are going to be traveling to the next gym uh, battle. And... We have arrived. So like I said, I am going to be ending it off here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash like button below to see more Pokemon and Violet on the channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. Jorge.